This photo is causing quite a buzz on the internet, but for the elderly owner of this end of terrace house in Swansea, well, he's feeling a tad bewildered. The word is that this house looks like Adolf Hitler, the Nazi dictator that is most remembered for his central leadership role in World War II. The photo was first posted on Twitter by 22-year-old Charlie Dickinson and hundreds of thousands of people have viewed it since. The slanted roof is said to look like the Hitler fringe, the door, his moustache, and those small top windows could be his piercing eyes. Because the grocery store wouldn't put his son's name on his birthday cake. You're seeing him there, little three-year-old Adolf Hitler Campbell. The father says even though he chose the name Adolf Hitler for his child, he's not a racist, although he did name his daughter, Joyce Lynn, Aryan Nation, Campbell. By the way, ShopRite in Holland Township says the family asked a couple years ago for swastikas on the cake. Uh, the grocery store wouldn't do that either. And this time they say they did agree to leave a space on the cake so that the family could write in the little boy's name. Which uh, begs the question, let me bring in Melissa Rayberger for this. You know, the dad uh, was interviewed about naming his child Adolf Hitler. And he said, look, I, I just knew that if I named him Adolf Hitler, nobody else would have that name. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah, that's clever. That's cool. I'm sure the kids are going to love it when they're older, too. Yeah. Great. Another big story we're following this morning, a big controversy over a JCPenney ad. I want you to look at this billboard in California. You decide. Some people think that the Michael Graves Bells and Whistles teapot looks like Adolf Hitler. Berman's over here squinting, trying to see the, uh, the, the resemblance. JCPenney tweeted that uh, it certainly was not intentional. We would have gone with something cute. Think puppy dog, not dictator. All the talk made the teapot a hot seller. As of last night, it was on back order online. But um, now, so, so people Penny, wanted to get their hands on the Hitler teapot. Uh, apparently, or maybe they just saw the controversy. They're like, oh, that's a cute teapot. Uh, anyway, but now Jay Z Penny has taken it off its website. Uh, a man who started a Western menswear store, which I didn't know was popular in India. Uh, this is 10 days ago. He opened it in Ab Ab Aminabad, actually, I think, and he named it Hitler. That's it. Just, just Hitler. Just Hitler. But it, just to be fair to him, he says that he didn't know who Hitler was, and that swastika <laughs> sign is just a coinky dink. Yeah, that's a possibility. Behoud de gele trui. Beste Nederlander is Laurens ten Dam. In Rijms hebben de Franse president Hollande en de Duitse bondskanselier Merkel herdacht dat beide landen zich een halve eeuw geleden met elkaar hebben verzoend. 17 jaar na de Tweede Wereldoorlog. Lang leven de Duits-Franse vriendschap. Met die woorden onderstreept bondskanselier Merkel nog eens de bijzondere relatie tussen beide landen. But be that as it may, this is kind of a funny picture at the link where. Benjamin Netanyahu is pointing and there's a crazy a Hitler mustache on Angela Merkel and you now she you could see there there is a resemblance but you know maybe some message is being sent to whether or not you know she's Hitler's daughter or not something's being communicated I saw it on um Jimmy Fallon, he, you know, was part of his monologue. Tila Tequila makes it no secret that she comes in many forms. And apparently she now comes in Nazi. Tila Tequila, the washed up has been. Former MTV reality star who hosted A Shot at Love with Tila Tequila, the bisexual themed dating show a decade ago, is back in the news after ranting about Paul Walker's Illuminati, quote, murder, and saying that Hitler was a good guy. Haven't heard from Tila Tequila in a while? Well, boy, is she ever back. She is claiming Paul Walker was murdered, she's praising Hitler, and posing in a Nazi uniform at the gates of Auschwitz concentration camp. As for the Hitler business, Tila is praising the man, something she has been getting a lot of backlash for. It all started when she posted this picture. She is dressed in Nazi garb, holding a gun, posing at the gates of the most infamous concentration camp. She defended her many anti-Semitic posts and says she is trying, quote, to open your eyes to the truth that Hitler was not as bad as he was painted out to be. Tila Tequila is now Hatila. From the photoshopped image of her posing in front of Auschwitz to her long ass why I sympathize with Hitler post on her anonymous truth blog, there's plenty of reason to believe something is converting in her head. 
somewhere. I'm getting confused though because barely two years ago, Tila made a pretty public desire to become a Jew. I also get the impression that Hatila is a publicity genius. Well, angry town halls are taking an ugly turn with references to so-called Nazi policies and pictures portraying President Obama as Adolf Hitler. There is concern that the gatherings are becoming forums for hate speech and potential violence. Suzanne, have you noticed all the talk about Hitler and health care reform lately? Every so often, someone compares the reform plans to Hitler's extermination policies or brands President Obama or his political allies as Nazis. This image right here popped up outside a town hall meeting, and that's a Lyndon LaRouche protester from the far left making that comparison. Well, finally, at a town hall yesterday, Congressman Barney Frank lashed out at a woman. She was speaking to him while holding a poster that showed President Obama's face defaced with a Hitler mustache. Let's listen. Why do you continue to support a Nazi policy as Obama has expressly supported this policy? Why are you supporting it? When you ask me that question, I am going to revert to my ethnic heritage and ask to your question with a question. On what planet do you spend most of your time? The question here is, is this just overheated rhetoric as usual, or has a new line been crossed? Suzanne? I'm telling you, it is the way that it is. Okay? Period. Those stories are put out there for the reason that they're put out there. Because it's, it's, it's communication, they're bragging, they're boasting. Okay? Nobody names their kid Adolf Hitler when he's three years old. We all know what three is. It's the Saturn alien fucking three on the tree, cabalistic fascist god Saturn. Who the fuck are they kidding? This is what I mean. When you understand this stuff, it becomes so ludicrous. If I was there, I would hit them both in the mouth with a two by four. Okay? And homie running around with the shit on his face, coming from the same angle, trying to act like he's the educated, well refined, I can prove there's no God type thing. Same thing. It's, it's the same thing. The, all of this stuff is Hebrew Nazi Kabbalism. That's all it is. Okay? There's, there's, don't look to the churches for salvation because it ain't there. You know? You've got to get educated to understand this. And then you can understand the game that's being played. I mean, things like this just make me laugh. It wasn't even a story I was looking for. I just ran across it. A three-year-old named... Adolf Hitler. Okay. So we know that three on the tree is Saturn, who's the god of fascism. Right? Nazis always wear black. And they want to name Adolf Hitler. They're just they're just bragging. They're just, they're just bragging. I told you. Darth Vader, six foot six tall dude wearing Saturn alien black, wearing a Nazi helmet, speaking through the Masonic Triangle. Understand the times we live in. This agenda is going to fly. Doesn't mean it's going to work for the long term, but it is going to work for a while. Okay, so this story with the teapot that looks like Adolf Hitler. All they're doing is just shoving it in, in your face and up your ass at the same time. We can see, we can see that the handle right there is supposed to make his hair. This is supposed to be his nose. This is supposed to be his tie. And here's the bell over here, and he's holding up the, the you know, the uh, Heil Hitler symbol. The bell is right here because the name of Satan is Saturn, and the original name of Saturn was Bell Saturn. B-E-L Saturn. Okay, so why are they using a teapot? Because a teapot is a pressure cooker. Okay, and then it gets to a point and then it explodes. Right? It start it, it just gets to a point and then all of a sudden bang, that's it. It's a pressure cooker. Saturn is the god of fascism. He's at he's fascism because he's absolute. There's no there's no dealing with it in any other way and I told you in man's law is justice there's courts and there's provisions that are made to move within the law 
But fascism, there are none. Fascism is absolute. That's what Nazi Germany was. And that's what this whole Saturnalian return of the Golden Age is. It's fascism. Biblically, when they say the lion will lay down with the lamb, and they will beat their plows and their, their, their spears into plowshares, it's because you, that will be done by force. You'll have no choice but to stop warring with each other. Because it's, it's a return to a very fascist system. And you're seeing that being implemented right now in, in small increments, like raising taxes and taking away rights and imposing uh, uh, laws that, that are against the people. So that's why <clears throat> they're using a teapot. Now I'll show you another from another video. Okay? This is from another group, <clears throat> interestingly enough, called They Might Be Giants, which would be Titans. And the song is The Statue Got Me High. <clears throat> and at the end they show the earth, the moon, and a teacup. Well, a teacup uh, pretty much is representing the same thing that the teapot does. You know, they both they both are created from pressure. Okay? The, and that's what's going on here. So here's the teacup. And here's the moon. So you got Saturn, the moon, you got Saturn, the moon, and the Earth. So this goes from this line to this line to this line and then back. You get your triangulation there. But that's what that means. The teacup in the teacup and the and the teapot in the occult represents Saturn because it represents fascism and absolute. And it represents a so slow building as far as the pressure and the, the getting the getting ready for the release of that pressure. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's what's going to happen shortly. But no, I'm not a seer. But I did stay at a Holiday Inn last night. Also, I wanted to point this out. Um, the sunflower is uh, the black sun. It's Saturn. See, the, the inside has the black, and then you have the light or the petals that are yellow coming off. So here, here again, here's another symbol that's used a lot, a lot more in the teapot or the teacup, and it's the plant, the flower, the uh, sunflower. But it's really the black sunflower. And so you see here, here's the earth again from the video, Tears for Fears. And uh, what they're doing is they're sowing the seeds of love, but what they're really doing is sowing the seeds of deceit, using love as the guise Here's the sunflower, here's the earth. So, just thought I'd throw that in.